welcome all and welcome back to my channel today we have coco cooker yes coco cooker is back today and today i actually have something pretty special this was suggested by my best friend who sent me in a video of a woman doing a cookie but it was like see-through with candy and they're called aquarium cookies and i went on youtube and i went on line google and i only found that one video of that one woman doing it and i just said i had to do it um my best friend really wanted me to do it so i got the stuff and started doing it before we even start i want you guys to make sure that you click that subscribe button and let me know what you want to see hit that subscribe button comment share you know all that good stuff and hit that bell icon just so you can get notified of updates and things like that so today these cookies are the cutest things ever and they're just awesome i don't know if you guys can hear it but like i have one in my hand i'm like it's shaking and you can hear it it's like hollow on the inside and you can see right through it um the one that I have in my hand right now sort of sucks, so yeah. And to be completely honest, it was my first time ever making these. And again, my channel is about doing things yourself, trial and error. I hit you with the real. I'm not going to show you, oh, I perfected this. And no, I'm not a professional. I'm not a perfectionist. And I want you to guys to see that in everything that I do. So without any further ado, we're about to see the horror show that is me making these cookies. So I'll see you guys in the station. The ingredient you will need is butter, flour, sugar, and vanilla flavoring. In a large mixing bowl, you want to add one cup of butter to one and a half cups of sugar and cream those together. Next, add at least one and a half to two cups of flour. Take your ball of dough and wrap it up and place it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Next, you want to flour your surface in which you will be rolling your dough. The cookie cutters I will be using are glass cups, two different sizes preferably. Now it's time to roll out our dough. I don't think I'm doing this right. This is too soft. Now we just want to take our glasses and start cutting our cookies. These don't look right. These really don't. No, these these aren't looking right. These are too big. Okay, there's something wrong with my dough. I know there is. I know I did the recipe right. Yeah, I did it right. But that seems too big, right? And too squishy, right? Right? I'm not a professional. Well guys, I did the wrong mixture. And this is a sugar cookie recipe now before we used a butter cookie. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. 
In this new mixing bowl, we're gonna add one egg, one cup of butter, two and one half cups of flour, and one and a half cups of sugar. And we're gonna cream these all together. To cut these out, I simply use two different sized wine and champagne glasses. Once on a greased cooking sheet, what we wanna do is place one to two candies in the center of each cut out cookie. Place in the oven at 350 until candies are completely melted. After taken out and cooled, you wanna use chocolate frosting as your glue. We're also gonna use tiny candies that I bought at the supermarket to be our filling. Go around thoroughly with a spoon and a little bit of chocolate to make sure there are no cracks and no leaks. I actually put these on backwards on accident, but I actually think they're sort of cute no matter how you put them on. Once all completely done, you should have these gorgeous see-through cookies. As you can see, I used a different cookie cutter for these cookies, seeing as the other ones came out a little dark. So as you can see, that was pretty freaking terrible. Right now, as I'm recording this, it is 3.43 a.m. I started at five o'clock this afternoon. So, that should tell you something. I suck and my hair's a mess and everything else is a mess in life. But I did make cute little cookies. Look at them. These ones I actually used a cookie cutter of a little leaf. They're so cute. You can hear it sort of shaking in there. I don't want to eat it because they're cute. And believe it or not, okay, let me tell you this before we ever get started. Save yourself the trouble of making your own cookie dough. Use store-bought sugar cookie dough. It will save your life. It will save your sanity. You will survive. You will survive. Because right now I feel like I, I won't survive. Like, I'm gonna die. This is ridiculous. And what makes it so horrible is I followed my parents' advice again. Well, maybe you should do this or maybe you should do that. No, never again will I take their advice on anything. Sure, they're chefs, but no. No, never again. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want you guys to make these and show me what you guys have done. If anything was different, if anything was better, I just want to see it. Like, not many videos are out there of what these guys really look like. And I know you really can't see them that well, but they're so freaking cool. And this one, you can sort of see through it. It's so cute. Here, I'm shaking, I'm living it up. I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share with all your friends and family. My goal is 10,000 by the end of this year. 10,000 subscribers, and I hope I get there. This is gonna be my life. I really like doing YouTube videos. But enough about that. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, much love. Bye.